Claude 3.5 Sunnet is here. Let's see what it's all about. I got an email just the other day that Anthropic.com released the new Claude 3.5 Sunnet. This is the official blog post. Let's walk through what it says. So today we're launching Claude 3.5 Sunnet, our first release in the forthcoming Claude 3.5 model family. So I'm assuming that means Claude 3.5 Opus is on the way too. Claude 3.5 Sunnet raises the industry bar for intelligence, outperforming competitor models, and Claude 3 Opus on a wide range of evaluations. With the speed and cost of our mid-tier model, Claude 3 Sunnet. So that's big news. Previously, Claude 3 Opus was their best model. But look at this pricing. $15 per 1 million token input. $75 per 1 million token output. Which is way more expensive than any of the other large language models. But now, Claude 3.5 Sunnet. $3 per 1 million token input. 5 times cheaper and a $15 per 1 million token output, which is also a five times cheaper output. They say that Claude 3.5 Sunnet is now available for free on Claude.ai and the Claude iOS app. Because it's much cheaper for them, they can offer it for free on their own platforms. It is also available via the Anthropic API. That's what we're gonna be using it for. And then they talk about the pricing, which we just went over. Here are these fun graphs that they always brag about. We have intelligence on the y-axis, cost on the x-axis, interesting graph, but Sunnet used to be here. HiQ, Sunnet, Opus, it got more intelligent as you use the higher models, but now Sunnet 3.5 takes a huge leap. It's the same cost as the old Sunnet, but it's performing better than Opus. They're also saying it is twice the speed. Claude 3.5 Sunnet sets new industry benchmarks for graduate level reasoning, undergraduate level knowledge, and coding proficiency. It shows market improvements in grasping nuance, humor, and complex instructions, and is exceptional at writing high quality content with a natural, relatable tone. It operates at twice the speed of Claude 3 Opus. So because it's faster, you may want to use it in live situations where your customers or your users do not want to wait for a response. Now, we always see these charts whenever the major companies release a new large language model. And to be honest, I've never actually went through each of these tests. Are these tests being cherry picked just because Claude 3.5 Sunnet performs better? I'm sure GPT-4 Omni is doing the exact same thing, but if we're going to take their word for it, we have this graduate level reasoning, it's beating GPT-4 Omni, undergraduate level knowledge, it's tying with GPT-4 Omni, coding 92% versus 90.2%, they're very close here, reasoning over text, math problem solving, looks like GPT-4 Omni is winning that. Grade school math, there is no comparison. They seem pretty comparable to me. And GPT-4 Omni is winning in the pricing department. So I think it's going to come down to preference. Which model do you prefer to use? Which text output do you like better? Which results are more consistent between the two models? Claude 3.5 Sunnet is their strongest vision model yet. We have already had this with GPT-4 this seems to be new for Claude and in this video, so they are writing to Claude. They are providing a graph, couple graphs, asking it to transcribe the data in JSON. So Claude is looking at both of these images, turning it into JSON, using all that data. All right, that's pretty impressive. And it does appear that we do get the vision models in the API as well. Again, it's looking like a preference between Claude 3.5 Sunnet Vision and GPT-4 Vision. Here's another chart showing various tests with Claude 3.5 Sunnet outperforming all the other models. And surprisingly, Gemini 1.5 Pro performs pretty well. It actually performed better than Claude 3 Opus on every test. And we know that Gemini 1.5 Pro is actually free. 
below a usage cap. And I didn't know this, this is pretty interesting. They're also releasing artifacts. So it's a new feature that expands how users can interact with Claude. When a user asks Claude to generate content like code snippets, text documents, or website designs, these artifacts appear in a dedicated window alongside their conversation. This creates a dynamic workspace where they can see, edit, and build upon Claude's creations in real time, seamlessly integrating AI-generated content into their projects and workflows. And yes, we did notice that in the previous video. It popped up that code snippet box and it started to write the JSON body. And it's going to do the exact same thing in this video. They're turning on artifacts. It's writing to Claude. Draw an 8-bit style crab for me. And there we go. It writes it in a code block. You can have conversation on the left side and see the results on the right. This section is about safety and privacy. Let's hope their moderation is not as strict. And then they say that Claude 3.5 HiQ and Claude 3.5 Opus is planned to release later this year. They're exploring features like memory, which we already have in ChatGPT. And then you can submit feedback about Claude 3.5 Sunnet to their development roadmap. It appears that Anthropic is still a ways behind OpenAI, but I love the competition. I love that there are multiple large language models to use. Competition creates innovation. I'm all for it. I've just added Claw 3.5 Sunnet to youraiagent.com. Let's quickly create an autoblogging agent and see what type of article this new model can produce. If you're brand new to this web app, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com. Enter your name, an email address, a password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page. We integrate with multiple platforms so far, with more being added each week. For this video, I'm going to integrate my wordpress.org website. I'm going to click on this button. I'm going to name my connection within your AI agent. I'm going to call it my WordPress website. Now we need a website URL. Here I am in my WordPress dashboard. I'm looking at this bookgen.xyz. So let's copy just that portion of the URL. We don't need anything else. Paste it in here. Now we need a username and application password. And for that, we're going to go to users, add new user. I'm going to call it test user, enter a valid email address, scroll down, change the role from subscriber to editor, click add new user, then edit that new user, scroll all the way down under application passwords. You can write whatever here. Click add new application password and then copy this text. You're going to paste that text here. And this username was test user. Let's hit connect. You're going to get a pop up that said your wordpress.org website is connected. Click OK. Then we can see it down here. Next, go to API keys. We want to find Claude. If you don't have your API key yet, click on this hyperlink. It will take you to console.anthropic.com and you need to create a new secret key, call it whatever. Let's go West key, click create key, copy the key and paste it into the input box here. Next, go to subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, there will be a button here that says subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AI agent.com is $9 per month. And that covers unlimited workflows, unlimited AI agents, unlimited integrations. You can be an agency, have multiple clients under your account with no restrictions on the basic plan. If all is good, it will drop you on the home page. Here are all of the AI agents that we currently have available. I want to test Claude 3.5 Sunnet on auto blogging. So this creates hundreds of SEO optimized articles at a consistent interval. Let's click on this agent. Select your integration from the drop down menu here. Now, for the text model, I'm going to select Claude 3.5 Sunnet. For the image model, let's use Stable Diffusion 3. For the language, I'm going to choose English. For the posting time, I want to post a new article every hour. And we want to publish it directly to my WordPress website right away. Now we can choose an article length. I'm going to choose a medium sized article. For the agent prompt, you can write any extra information that you want your AI agent to know. I'm going to write my company is called BookGen. 
mention it throughout the text. For the image prompt, this is for the stable Diffusion 3 model, I'm just going to write digital illustration. Now for the keyword list, you can enter as many as you want and the auto blogger agent will run through each of these keywords, write an article about each of them until it's completed. So let's input two keywords just to test it out. I'm going to go how to write ebooks and best novels 2024. For section links, these appear at the end of each section of the article. Use this for external, internal, or affiliate links. I'm going to leave this blank for now. The hyperlink section is very similar, but it replaces text in your articles with hyperlinks. And the example I give here is it changes all variations of AI agents to AI agents, which is a link to your AI agent.com. So let's go book gen. And if it writes book gen in the text, I want to link it to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash bookgen.xyz slash sale. Let's click add. Now for categories and tags, it will pull all the categories and tags from your WordPress dashboard. And if I click on this, I made a couple as a test. Let's go love. Let's go foodie. And for tags, I just have one. We'll go bags. But of course, make them relevant to your articles. Then we can click generate posts. It takes you to the workflows page. We can cancel this workflow at any point or we can edit it and clicking on the edit button, you get this pop up where I can change any of the settings. Let's say I want to shorten the article length. Now I can do that. I can change the agent prompt, the image prompt, copy my list of keywords, start adding section links, change my hyperlinks, change the categories and tags, see the upcoming posts. If there are any error logs for my workflow, this workflow ID is for me but also good if you need some support. I recommend sending me this number if you're having problems and can't figure it out by yourself. This helps me look into the back end to see what's going on. When there are past articles completed, you'll get this link that says view past article data. This is a new feature. I can click on this, see all the keywords, the titles of the articles that were created for those keywords and hyperlinks to the article. We see that this is coming soon within the hour, so it is empty for now. If you are an agency, this is a good tool to save in your own spreadsheet and send it to your clients to see all the content that you've been creating for them. I'm going to click on this link and here is the article. There's an image. There's the title, how to write eBooks, a beginner's guide to digital publishing. There are the two categories that I selected. And then we have the article content and look at this book. Gen is hyperlinked to that website. Let's quickly read some of the text in the article to get an idea of Claude 3.5 Sonnet's writing style. Learning how to write eBooks involves several key stages, each crucial to producing a high quality digital publication. Here's a brief overview of the eBook creation process. Step one, ideation and planning. This initial stage involves brainstorming ideas identifying your target audience and determining the purpose and scope of your ebook. Step two, research and content gathering. Conduct thorough research on your chosen topic, gathering relevant information, statistics, and examples to support your content. And I'll just read one more point. Number three, outlining and structuring. Create a detailed outline of your ebook, organizing your content into chapters and sections for logical flow of information. I like it. It was quick, clear, it's easy to read. I think it's a good alternative to the open AI models and I recommend using whichever one you like best. If you wanna try the auto blogging AI agent for yourself and if you want to hook up Claude 3.5 Sunnet to see which type of generations you can get, head on over to youraiagent.com. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If you want to build your own AI apps, Using the new Claude 3.5 Sunnet, I recommend the online course I've designed called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.